my primary role is the design and development of Empire products. So uh, um, I became involved with Evertech through a word of mouth connection, just a, a local networking. We've done quite a lot of work um, on the MX6 Evo and on other projects. Uh, we use uh, EdgeCam uh, to machine the components. So we're now looking at a complete digital design process. The CAD model being used for FE, the CAD model being used for CAM, CAD model being used for images in uh, marketing. For the development of this particular product, we use the uh, MSC software, so using typically uh, Apex and MSC Nastran for the design analysis and optimization of the structure. Final Element Analysis, FEA, is a tool which allows virtual simulation uh, of a design so we can effectively understand the mechanics and response of a, of a given structure before any physical manufacture is required. In terms of this particular product, the MX6 Evo, uh, we've looked at analysis of the full structure uh, with specific areas in terms of the headstock development, uh, the rear swing arm development and uh, the seat mount and the bottom bracket as part of a larger assembly. The, the analysis allows for pre-manufacture uh, understanding of what the structure is going to do, weight reduction uh, and some easement in terms of the manufacturing capability that's required to, to make the product. So this is the Apex computer aided engineering environment and, and the tool set that we use to do the majority of the Empire Cycles MX6 development work. So what we have here is a um, finite element representation of the original CAD model. So we bring the CAD model in either as a native, native SOLIDWORKS definition or translator STEP or IGIS. Bring, bring the geometry in, translate that geometry form into a finite element mesh, which involves um, some uh, discretization of the structure. The Apex environment is very powerful in, in terms of the what we call the CAD to mesh uh, type operation. Once we have the mesh defined, we can apply things like properties such as wall thicknesses, and material definition and once we have the, the, the physical form if you like of the, of the model defined in the FEA environment we can run the discrete loading to understand the analysis um, operation or the, the, the stress distribution, the stiffness, how the structure can be optimised and it gives us a, a snapshot of, of what the structure is going to do in a virtual environment before we go anywhere near physical manufacture. The, the way we the, the way we approach machining now is, is through EdgeCam. So we, we would machine the headstock from solid, and the bottom bracket would be from solid, and then we would machine the castings from their near net profile. When we first started producing this headstock, it was um, on a three axis machining centre using quite a lot of fixturing. We would use a fourth axis to machine the component now so it would be done in one hit. Mm -hmm.